Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you this story called Apple Trouble. And look at our friend. He's a hedgehog, and he's got a big problem. The problem is there's an apple on his back. So let's find out how he's going to fix this problem. I will show you the picture, read you the words, and show you the picture again. Apple Trouble. Hedgehog had just finished building her winter nest under an old apple tree. It wasn't too large and it wasn't too small, just right for a nice winter's sleep. And here's Hedgehog. There he is. There's Hedgehog. Plop! Suddenly, a juicy apple landed on her back. Ouch! Squeaked Hedgehog. She curled up into a spiny ball, hoping it would fall off. But when she uncurled, the juicy apple was still there. Hedgehog tried to squeeze herself and the apple into her beautiful new nest but she could not get in. No, she could not, not with that apple on her back. The nest was too small. Oh dear. Squirrel scurried past with an armful of brown nuts and she stopped to help. Stand still, I'll push the apple off, she said. And here's Squirrel, come to help. And he pushed and he struggled and he heaved and he tugged. Do you think it worked? Let's see, there's the picture. Look at him pulling and tugging. Oh my, but the juicy apple was still where it was. Worse still, Three of Squirrel's brown nuts got caught in Hedgehog's spine. So now she had a juicy red apple and three brown nuts on her back. Look at that. Poor Hedgehog. So Hedgehog has that stuff stuck to her back. And Squirrel came to help. Was he able to get the apple off? No. All right, let's find out what happens next. Oh dear, wailed Hedgehog. Winter is coming and I can't even get into my nest. What will I do? Try rolling on your back, said the pig. Trotting up, that will get rid of it. Oh, maybe that'll help. Hedgehog threw herself on the ground. Her little legs were paddling in the air and she was twisting and wriggling and rolling. Has it all gone? She said, hopefully, standing on, standing to her feet. Pig shook his head. No, the juicy apple was still there. Along with the three, nut, the three small brown nuts, and so was a small green pear and a crumpled up brown leaf. Oh dear, said Hedgehog. But up in the sky, sailing towards Hedgehog, was a colorful piece of paper. Oh no, she cried, and she ran. She ran this way, and she ran that way, as fast as she could. But the paper drifted down and landed on her back between the apple and the three brown nuts. It's not fair, cried Hedgehog. 
who now had a juicy red apple, three brown nuts, a small green pear, a crumpled brown leaf, and a piece of colorful paper on her back. I will never get in my nest, she said. Hedgehog pattered to the pond and looked at her reflection in the water. Hello, Hedgehog. That's a lot of stuff you've got on your back, croaked Mr. Frog. Oh, I've been trying to get rid of it, said the Hedgehog. We'll dive in the water. That will wash it off. So Hedgehog dipped one foot into the murky water and dived in. Splash! Her friends watched as Hedgehog was bobbing up and down the juicy red apple and the three brown nuts and the small green pear, the crumpled brown leaf and the colorful piece of paper were all still there. And so was a pink water lily. Oh my. <laughs> Gurgled Hedgehog as the others heaved her out of the water. She did look funny, but Hedgehog didn't think it was funny at all. Stop laughing, she said, and she stamped her foot on the floor. Where am I going to sleep? Pig and Squirrel looked worried, and so did Frog. Well, I have an idea. One last thing. Squeeze yourself through the hedge over there. That will brush everything off. So Hedgehog closed her eyes and squeezed through the thick leaves. But did everything get off her back? What do you think? Let's see. <gasps> no, it didn't. It was all still there. Plus, so were four red, ripe blackberries. And there, staring at her with a great look of surprise, stood Goat. Ooh, cried Goat. You brought lunch. Help yourself, said Hedgehog. Take it all. Yippee, said Goat. And he picked off and ate the juicy red apple, the three brown nuts, the small green pear, the pink water lily, the four red ripe blackberries for dessert. And then he ate the paper. The only thing left was the crumpled brown leaf, but he just couldn't eat any more. Hooray, cried Hedgehog. Look how happy she is. She's dancing around. She felt light as a feather. Thank you, goat, she said. Then she ran as fast as her little legs would carry her, safe through the gate, past the pond, across the orchard, under the tree, and at home to her nest. Hedgehog squeezed into her little nest. It fit her perfectly, and it was the best nest ever. Outside, a cold wind blew another apple off the tree, but it didn't fall on Hedgehog. She was safe in her nest, fast asleep. The end. That's the story of Apple Trouble. This animal is a hedgehog. This animal is a squirrel. This animal is a pig. This animal is a frog. And this animal is a goat. Which animal helped Hedgehog? Was it the squirrel, the pig, the frog, or the goat? It was Goat who finally got all the different objects off of Hedgehog's back. His other friends tried to help him. Squirrel tried to help him. And so did Pig. And so did Frog. But Goat had the best idea. And at the end of the story, Hedgehog was so happy, he ran all the way home to his beautiful nest that was now the perfect size and fell asleep for the winter. That was a really good story. The end.